Hi, I'm Kim Tasso. Um, today we're going to be looking at some ideas around uh, strategy. That's uh, the idea of mission and vision statements. And we're going to be doing that with the help of a helicopter and a hedgehog, just so that you have some ideas about some techniques that you can have to take away um, and use after the video. So let's start off with what are uh, mission and vision statements. Well, a mission statement is kind of the reason why an organisation was created and why it exists. You know, what's its purpose um, and kind of also what kind of sets that business aside from other, other similar businesses. And the vision is something that's got a bit more movement about where is this organisation going, the challenges it's going to overcome and where it wants to be uh, at some point in the future. You can see behind me, I have a box here, my light box, and has the word why. Um, and that's because um, Simon Sinek uh, famously created something called the Golden Circle. And he said that with mission and uh, vision statements, many organisations focus on what they do and how they do it, when really the core is about getting down to why uh, they do it. So keep thinking about that question of why so why are you in business obviously you want to make money but usually there's some other purpose of the owners or the founders of the business have that are driving them through creating and growing uh, the business so think perhaps about what's your reason for being in business beyond obviously the profit side so why do we need uh, a mission or a vision statement well um, many strategy experts talk about the need to have this kind of guiding north star um, this kind of view that shapes and directs all the kind of day-to-day -day operational decisions that you make in your business. So it kind of gives you this kind of permanent kind of guidance towards where you're trying to get to. So I thought I'd just give you a couple of recent or you know, well-known mission and vision statements just so you can kind of get a feel for them. So if we look at something like the BBC, um, it says to enrich people's lives with programmes and services that inform educate and entertain. So that's the BBC. Look at Tesla, for example, and the mission there is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. So that's very, uh, very grand. Um, something like LinkedIn on social media has a mission statement that says create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. So again, these are really inspirational. Um, one of my favourites, though, happens to be Disney. Obviously, I have Disney characters in lots of my videos. Um, and they say to entertain, inform and inspire people around the globe through the power of unparalleled storytelling reflecting the iconic brands, the creative minds and innovative technologies that make ours the world's premier entertainment company. So I mean, I think a fantastic statement from Disney there. So um, how do you develop uh, a mission and a vision statement? Um, these are kind of the starting points before you go on with developing other parts of your strategy. Some people adopt a technique to look at three things. The kind of head or rational reasons for being in business, the hearts, a more emotional aspect of being in business, and thirdly, the kind of soul or more spiritual side of why you're in business. And that third one is really important for the kind of younger generations and the millennials we have around today who want to know that an organisation is doing more than making money. What's its its social purpose? What is it doing to correct social inequalities? What is it doing to help uh, prevent climate uh, issues and so on? Um, so another method uses a hedgehog. OK, um, so this one comes from a great book by Jim Collins called uh, From Good to Great. Um, he suggested that for your mission, you create something called a BHAG, which stands for a big, hairy, audacious goal. And I think my hedgehog is a good example of a big, hairy, audacious goal. Um, and he suggests that your BHAG is formed by answering three questions. Uh, the first question is, what drives your economic engine? So what is it that makes you the many? So you mean yourself, forget the many. The second question is, what are you deeply passionate about? What is it that makes you get out of bed in the morning? And what is it that kind of really, really drives you emotionally? And the third question, and this is the kind of stretch piece, is what can you be the best in the world at? Um, so that really kind of helps with the focus and positioning of your organisation. So those three questions, what drives your economic engine? 
what are you deeply passionate about and what can you be the best in the world at okay so then we move on to the idea you've got your mission and vision statement sorted out you can get your strategy development and there are millions of different definitions of strategy and guidance on developing a strategy so take a look at the many blogs on my website in that area um, sometimes the definitions of strategies have words like war or campaigns or choice or competitive advantage and there's usually some systemic um, systematic analysis of what's going on in your environment and I did a little uh, video recently on uh, audits using uh, onions and pestles which explains how you do that sort of analysis with a with a SWOT strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats to identify your core issue so then here comes in my helicopter to help us with a definition of strategy that I particularly like it says a strategy is a planned framework for action it must be a crystal clear route map and taken from a helicopter perspective. So with, with um, strategy, we kind of rise above the detail of what's going on on the ground. Then we can kind of look down uh, and see the broad outline of the environment uh, and the landscape. And we can also look ahead to the horizon, see what's going on in, in the future and where we want to be. Um, a recent newer definition of uh, strategy came from uh, INSEAD and they said uh, the purpose of strategy is to steer companies towards sustainable sources of growth and profit. So I still think my helicopter, you know, steering the organisation through to sustainable uh, revenue and profit. OK, so we can look at why we're in business. We could use the hedgehog for our big, hairy, audacious goal from Jim Collins. And we can use our helicopter for doing an overview of the overall landscape and competitive environment and setting the direction. So having a think about why you're in business and what's your mission and what's your vision. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching and listening.